All right, guys, so this is the second day of my post lipo massage. So getting ready to head out. I think I have everything. All right, you guys, now we're ready to go. Okay, so, all right, so where do we leave off yesterday? So I think, well, I know we left off. I was going into Girdle's world to pick up my compression wear. And when I left out, I had spent $230. So the money just keeps adding up. The expense, the cost of this procedure keeps adding up. So if there's one thing I want you to take away from my experience is that there's there are more costs associated with the procedure than just the upfront cost, right? Factor in, I would say another, for me at least, another $2,000, just in case it's something else you need, something else comes up. I mean, this is just my second week, so I don't know what else is gonna come up, right? So I would say factor in at least 2,000. So yesterday I had my massage and she wanted to see me again today to have another opportunity to move that fluid out of my body. So I'm going in today for my second massage. It's at 2.30. It is about 1.30 right now. So I should get there at 2.16. Let's pray, because you know 2.85, right? So where we got left off yesterday though is I was going into Girdle's world to pick up my compression gear. So what I needed was the Faha. And I'll put that on the screen for you. You need foam. And I also had to get the board. So the front board and the back board. So all in all, my price tag was $230. So it's funny because when I went into the, the store, I got an extra large and I got a large. There's two different styles and these were the sizes they had of the two styles that I like. So I tried on the extra large first, of course, because these garments look so freaking small and they look so tight. So I tried on the extra large and I am struggling to just get the hooks onto the first row, right? The first rung. And so I called the lady in so she can help me out. And she's like, oh no, you want to try to put it on the last row. And she was able to do that. And she says, you need to go down the sides. This one is too big for you. And I was like, oh, God. Oh, it's so funny. Y'all should have saw the expression on my face. I said, it needs to fit tighter than this. She said, yes, the tighter, the better. She says, so do you want to try the medium? I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll try the medium. And that medium, I couldn't even get that thing. I was having a hard time getting it over my foot and my hips and I was like, I'm not even gonna try to do this. There's no way I am going through this every day. So I just abandoned the medium and I tried on the large. I called the lady in because I also could not get the large fastened. So she came in, she put it on the second rung. And so I asked her, I said, so I'm gonna have to get my husband to help me put these on. She says, no, it's just, it's this tight right now because it's your first time putting it on it's going to stretch a little bit um, and conform to the, sh the shape of your body. So it'll get easier to put these on over time. I'm like, okay, cool. So I leave the store, I, I just wear it out because it was so much getting it on and I knew I had to put it on again when I got home. So I just left it on. We didn't have any of the foam or the boards on. This was just the Faha itself. So I wore that home. And uh, when I got home, I was waiting for my husband to come home. He had ran in here. I was waiting for him to get home and to help me, you know, put it on properly with the foam and the board and everything that I needed. And so I'm, I'm waiting for my husband to come home. And it starts to get a little uncomfortable because it's just my skin and the faja. I don't have on a tag. I don't have on anything to protect my skin from the faja. So it started to get just a little itchy and irritating. So I, I took it off. I had to take it off and just get a break from that. And when my husband came on, 
came home. We could not get the Faha fastened over the foam. The foam is very, it's not thin, it's probably about this thick. I'll, I'll put it on the screen so you can see it. So it's going to flatten, it's, it conforms to the shape of your body. And the idea is for it to be a layer of protection between your skin and the Faha. So it helps like press in the skin so it's nice and tight and as close to the muscle as possible. That's what the foam is for. And the board, the board you put on top of the foam, and what that does is it helps everything heal flat. So if you don't have the board, you could have like, you could have bulging skin. And so the board makes your app just flat. So you don't have those bulges. And it's the same thing in, with the back. So my husband and I could not get all that in. We just got frustrated. I said, forget it. I put my Spanx back on. And that's what I rocked with last night. Today, I was fresh, ready to try again. And so I put on the Faha. It took a little bit of doing, but I got it done. And then what I did is I just pushed the board. Um, first of all, I put on a tank. So I have on a tank top. And I just pushed the board. Once I got the Faha on, I just pushed the board down in the front. So I have the board on, I got the Faha on, was not able to get the foam in. I'm gonna have Char, my massage therapist, show me the proper way to get the foam in and get the, um, the Faha fastened. But I am so proud of myself for getting the Faha fastened, number one, and then, you know, figuring out how to get that board in there. So I am two thirds of the way there. I, once I get the foam figured out, I'll be good to go. I'm going to leave some links to the Faha on Amazon in case, you know, you may not have a Girdles World near you or something, you know, comparable. And so you can order these on uh, Amazon. You can order all of the compression gear, everything that you need. And this, it was about the same price. The only thing is you're not going to be able to try it. So you, you're going to have to figure out what size you need. So you can order the right size and you don't have to worry about uh, sending it back to get a different size. But I would definitely recommend that you get it ahead of time. So you're already familiar with it. You, you factored in the cost. You uh, talk to people, you watch YouTube videos so you know how to wear everything and how to put it all on. <laughs> to put it on like <laughs> why do you need a tutorial on how to put something on but seriously you do it's just so interesting all the stuff i mean it is such a freaking process but i i'm glad i did it i'm so happy that i got the, the procedure done it is a process and i never want to go through this again ever 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 it's just uncomfortable and the board you know is like I'm in front of my stomach and it feels fine but it just if I wanted to bend down and tie my shoe that would be a problem so I have on some you know my MK slippers that I can just slip into their their uh, not slippers their sneakers my MK sneakers that I can just slip my, my foot into all right guys we're here <laughs> and I am so looking forward to my second massage so I'm gonna skedaddle so I'm gonna go ahead and get my butt inside Massage solutions. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, we are all done. That massage smells so good. I can see why people get these. I mean, just aside from the therapeutic benefits of it, it just feels so good. Um, which I guess is therapeutic, but I guess it's aside from the recovery part of it, it's just a therapeutic aspect of the stress relief, releasing any tension that you're feeling and any just pain in your body. It just kind of alleviates and kind of soothes that for the time being. So I felt so good. So I feel like a 
football player because I have my phone on, the board, the uh, Faha, everything. And so Char showed me how to put everything on. So the board actually goes against your skin and then the foam goes on top of that and then you have to just squeeze the Faha clothes <laughs> and just hook it together. <laughs> It's crazy. But anyway, so I'm going to the battery to meet my brother, my husband. So we're having like a double date with my brother. And so we're just going to go get something to eat. And I am hungry. It is 346 and it is well past lunchtime. So I will holler at you guys later. Have an awesome rest of your day and I will catch y'all the next time.